Hello mga ka-info! In this video, let us discuss the Republic Act 1425, the Rizal Law. Here, we will explain the history of the Rizal Law and its important provisions and many more. Let us begin by saying that the Rizal Bill was as controversial as Jose Rizal himself. The mandatory Rizal subject in the Philippines was the upshot of this bill. The Rizal Law later became a law in 1956, the Republic Act No. 1425, Rizal Law. The Rizal Law involves requiring educational institutions in the country to offer a course on the hero's life, works, and writings. Especially his novels The Noli Me Tangre and The El Filibus Turismo. However, the transition from being a bill to becoming a republic act was not easy, as the proposal was met with intense opposition, particularly from the Catholic Church. Then Senator Claro M. Recto is the main proponent of the Rizal Bill. Recto was even dubbed as a communist and an anti-Catholic principally because of the issue. Catholic schools threatened to stop operation if the Rizal Bill was passed. But Recto calmly countered the threat, stating that if that happened, then the schools would be nationalized. Even when threatened afterward to be punished in the future elections, Claro Recto remained undeterred. Then there was the suggestion to use instead the expurgated or edited version of Rizal's novels as mandatory readings, but Recto explained his firm support for the unexpurgated version, exclaiming, The people who would eliminate the books of Rizal from the schools would blot out from our minds the memory of the national hero. This is not a fight against Recto, but a fight against Rizal. In the end, the bill was nonetheless passed but with the clause that would allow exemptions to students who think that reading the Nolly and Philly would ruin their fate. In other words, one can apply to the Department of Education for exemption from reading results novels, though not from taking the result subject. The result bill was enacted on June 12, 1956. The result bill became the Republic Act No. 1425 known as the Rizal Law. The full name of the law is an act to include in the curricula of all public and private schools, colleges, and universities courses on the life, works, and writings of Jose Rizal, particularly his novels Nole Mitangre and El Filibus Turismo, authorizing the printing and distribution thereof and for other purposes. The Rizal Law's first section concerns mandating the students to read Rizal's novels. The last two sections involve making Rizal's writings accessible to the general public. The sections require the schools to have a sufficient number of copies in their libraries and mandate the publication of the works in major Philippine languages. Jose P. Laurel, then senator who co-wrote the law, explained that since Jose Rizal was the founder of the country's nationalism and had significantly contributed to the current condition of the nation, it is only right that Filipinos, especially the youth, know about and learn to imbibe the great ideals for which the hero died. Accordingly, the Rizal law aims to accomplish the following goals. Number 1. To rededicate the lives of youth to the ideals of freedom and nationalism for which our heroes lived and died. Number 2. To pay tribute to our national hero for devoting his life and works in shaping the Filipino character. Number 3. To gain an inspiring source of patriotism through the study of Rizal's life, 
works, and writings. Here's a trivia. No student has yet officially applied for exemption from reading results novels thus far. Relatedly, former President Fidel V. Ramos in 1994, through Memorandum Order No. 247, directed the Secretary of Education, Culture, and Sports and the Chairman of the Commission on Higher Education to fully implement the Republic Act 1425 as there had been reports that the law had still not been totally carried out. In 1995, Child Memorandum No. 3 was issued enforcing strict compliance to Memorandum Order No. 247. Now, let us proceed to the bonus. Not known to many, there is another Republic Act that concerns Jose Rizal. Republic Act No. 229 is an act prohibiting cockfighting, horse racing, and high lie on the 30th day of December each year. It also mandates creating a committee to take charge on the proper celebration of Rizal Day in every municipality and chartered city and for other purposes. That's all for now for this video. Till next time mga ka-info! Together we learn this in My Info Basket. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe before commenting.